Day number three of the Grand Canaria Wind and Waves Festival and today was finals day for the youth and juniors. Yes, it was. Uh, it kicked off a little bit slowly. The wind was a bit north and it was bending around all over the place and the wind shut off. Uh, but in the end, it came back full on and we got those finals. And was it worth waiting for? Yes, it was. Standout moments today. Well, for me, under 17's final, you've got to say, the French kid to tune that forward off the lip. I think that's what clinched it for him. He had some sick table forwards as well, uh, and he squeezed ahead of Liam Dunkerbeck. Yeah, so that was a big heat. mention Adrian Antilles, big old stall forward in that runners-up final in the uh, under-17s class. Uh, he still finished fourth, but he was sending it fully. Uh, we've got to, we like to see that, we really do. Uh, the girls as well, under-15s, how was that? Maria Morales coming on form with a perfect forward off the bat, and she took home the victory. Marder Arc in the under-17s got one back on Julia Pasquale. Yeah, nice tabletop today some good wave riding and uh, not enough to take the overall victory but she was sailing really good today on the 13th voice category 12 years old you've got to do it carlos Kiefer again nails some perfect back loops in that heat perfect forwards the man is on a mission or i should say the boy is on a mission <laughs> boys final wow that went off Japanese ripper mini Japanese Muso yes there's more of them the Ishi family are here in force and he stole the show he was down the bunker quite a long way away and he pulled off all the moves in that heat and we've got to mention we have to mention this the under 20s they are proper full-on men, aren't they? These boys, they were absolutely killing it. Takara Ishii uh, ended up second in the end. Didn't have his best final, but he was going to town in the semis. Frontside 360s, nailing all his jumps. But I'll tell you what, in the end, Marino Gill, he was just on a level all of his own. Uh, he said he was going to smash the final. He did. He absolutely destroyed it. Didn't miss a move, just looked on fire. The main fleet are looking worried. We have just kicked off the main fleet, but we're on hold again uh, on the dropping tide. The wind and the waves have gone a bit funky, and it looks like we're going to wait until tomorrow before we kick things off. Stay tuned to windsurfing.tv. Like I said, that was just the key moments from today. We are doing a full juniors film with a full rundown of all the results and all the players. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget, you can click on yesterday's episode up here and somewhere over here. And if you want to win a board, you've got to become a member of windsurfing.tv. I'll put the link below in the description or you can click over here. Subscribe to the channel. Thumbs up, like.